But, you know, uh, it, it's interesting that it came up in, in that discussion that they were talking about partial birth abortion, which, if you look in any medical textbook, is not to be found. It's something that the anti-choice zealots came up with and have introduced into the vernacular. Really? Yes, which is pretty amazing. It's just called a late-term abortion. And the majority of them are very sad situations. Most women are in the midst of very wanted pregnancies. Something horrific happens, like there's severe chromosomal damage, right. and they can't survive. And you know, the woman needs this procedure not only for her health, but many times to save her own life. You know, it is the one right-wing issue where I say, you know, you don't have to be religious to be against abortion. You know, I'd like to quote the great Gloria Steinem here, who said, if men could get pregnant, abortion would be a sacrament. Right. <laughs> So don't ever forget that. But, you know, what's important to remember to the voters out there is uh, two organizations that I'm very involved with, Planned Parenthood and NARAL Pro Choice America, uh, rate these candidates from zero to 100. Okay, John McCain gets a zero. Zero. A zero, not even a one or a two. And Barack Obama gets a hundred. So right. I think you should vote carefully. I mean, I'm surprised that it hasn't come up more because I think younger women take this issue for granted. I think they do, and they right. don't realize the struggle. Well, I, I think they think, as I say, I think the American public basically says, this issue's been settled. It's been settled for 35 years. Every time certain elections bring it up, they're not talking about what I care about, which is I don't have a job, I can't get my kid into college, I'm worried about my retirement. Why are we talking about an issue that we feel in our mind has been settled? But it's not settled, and it okay. hangs by a thread.